Okay everybody, Tectilar here again with a new and exciting video. Ever since I started this game three and a half years ago, I've always wondered, and I know almost every other player has wondered, how the heck is your hero's power calculated? How much does each item give your hero? How much does each skill level up give you? How much does sparks of power? How much does each star rank for evolving your hero net you, etc.? Well, wonder no more. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly how it's broken down and show you how to calculate it yourself, as well as give you some practical uses. Also, if you want to learn from the largest community of knowledgeable players, check us out on our Facebook group at Hero Wars Mobile Community, The GOAT. The link will be in this video's description. And oh, by the way, it is the largest unofficial dedicated mobile group out there on any platform. And if you want to learn all the ins and outs of the characters themselves, consider subscribing to me on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash techtalar. The link will also be in the video's description. I have memberships that cater to most things people want to know, and I'm one of the most knowledgeable and experienced players to ever play Hero Wars Mobile. Alright, so let's just jump right into the formula. For every one point of health, you get 0.05 power. For strength, intelligence, and agility, you get 2.75 power. For dodge and crit, you get 1.8 power. For physical attack, you get 0.75 power. And for armor, magic attack, magic defense, armor penetration, magic penetration, you get 0.5 power per point. Artifact weapons grant 50% of the original value since they're only up for a portion of the battle. So physical attack instead of 0.75 will grant 0.375. Crit and dodge instead of granting 1.8 will grant 0.9. And then Armor, Magic Attack, Magic Defense, Armor Penetration, and Magic Penetration will grant 0.25 power per point instead of 0.5. So what this means is when you gain a piece of equipment, leveling an artifact, skin, glyph, etc. provides stats. If you multiply those stats given by the chart I just read you, you will get the exact power growth for your hero. A perfect example is the last orange plus 4 item, which gives 355 to your unit's primary stat, and 76 and 76 to the secondary stats. Each stat, as mentioned in the chart above, has a value of 2.75 power, so you take all of the stats that the item gives, which is 507 main stats, you multiply that by 2.75, that gives you the total power of that item, which is 1,394.25, just from that one item. Another great example is the Alchemist set, which gives a nice round number of 6,000 health. You multiply health, you know, again, that is 0 0.05 times 6,000 gives you 300. So the Alchemist set will give you 300 power growth. Artifact weapons for armor, magic attack, magic defense, armor penetration, and magic penetration grant up to 8,010 power. Artifact weapons for physical attack grant up to 8,009 power. Artifact weapons for critical hit and dodge chance grant up to 8,008 power. Artifact books grant 8,010 power and artifact rings grant up to 10,973 power. Some miscellaneous growth options, when you hit promotions, uh, after you equip all of your character's equipment that you can see for each particular color rank, you gain 16, and I have point .xx power, uh, and that is because it, there is a decimal value, although it is unknown currently. Uh, but it, you will always get somewhere between 16 and 17 power, so it's some value in between the two. Uh, you get 20 power per skill point that you put into any of your skills. It doesn't matter which skill it is, you get 20 power per level. And the first 20 levels of your blue skill, and 40 levels of your violet skill, and one level of your green skill, are automatically granted to you once you hit the respective promotion levels. 
Next, we're going to look at main stats, and this is your hero's star rank, which is one of the most popularly chased after stats in the game, uh, because it's one of the first things that you're really able to, to impact early on in your hero's development. And so, th and these stats are based on level 120. So at one star, your, your hero has 1,200 total main stats. At two star, they get 1,800, so it's an increase of 600. At three star, they get 2,640. At four star, they get 3,600. At five, 4,800. And at six star, they have 6,000 total main stats. So if you look at that, you know, compared to one star, it's basically five times the original value. So, you know, there's really no comparison between a one and a five star unit uh, from that regard. And as far as power is concerned, you can gain a total of 16,500 power just by getting your hero to six stars. This can help you during the battles that you choose because you can start to identify how a player's team's power is distributed. If the hero is level 120 and absolute star, you know they have at least 16,500 power just from their main stats, which would become 6,000, which is how much total main stats you get from being absolute star. Multiply that by 2.75, which is the value the main stats hold, and that gets you the 16,500 power. And then another 9,520 power uh, just from having all of your skills maxed, which becomes a collective of 26,020 power. Then we take a look at the other visible stats, which includes the hero's promotion rank. You can use this next chart to determine which rank the opposing hero is. First, look at the color border the hero has. This will determine the color. If there are no variations other than just a colored square around the hero, that is the color plus zero. The plus one adds a hanging decoration on the inside of the portrait at both top corners. The plus two adds a jagged looking centerpiece on either side of the middle of the border. The plus three adds a colored trim of the next promotion rank's color on the top and bottom of the border. The plus four adds a colored dot of the next promotion rank over top of the plus two's jagged centerpiece on either side of the middle border. So using what we know, 26,020 power for a level 120 and absolute star unit with max skills, orange plus one grants 8,781 power, so that totals to 34,801, at least from what we are able to see. The Kira's total power is 48,235, which means between sparks of power, glyphs, artifacts, and skins, she's accumulated an additional 14,000 power, so you can start to guess where the stat dis distribution lies, and be able to make rough estimates if the team you're using to attack has sufficient investment in the right areas. These can most accurately be utilized in helping you to defeat teams in Arena, Grand Arena, and Guild War after you've already failed an attack because you can see the individual hero power breakdown. Hopefully this video gives you a better understanding of how power is calculated in this game, what the different portrait colors indicate, and help you to select your opponents better in the future. It will take some practice, but everyone can learn these techniques. Thanks for watching.